Economists and accountants analyze company performance differently. For example, if you'd like to analyze profitability of a company, as an accountant, you will take into account explicit costs only. But as an economist, you will take into account explicit and implicit costs. These two types of costs make up the opportunity cost of running a business. Now, explicit costs. They are a type of costs that require an outlay of money or some sort of payments, physical payments of cash. For example, um, wages, utility bills, rent, and other operating expenses that require a, a physical payment of money. Implicit costs, on the other hand, do not require an outlay of money. They represent a company's opportunity costs of utilizing the resources it already owns. For example, resources contributed by the owners of a company or paid out of pocket costs such as building used for business operations rather than generating a rental profit. Now, sometimes implicit costs are referred to as implied costs or notional or imputed costs because the implicit costs may be difficult to quantify. We don't usually record the implicit costs for accounting purposes, and we usually roughly estimate them when we do economic analysis. As I mentioned earlier, economists and accountants calculate profits in different ways. Economists take into account um, explicit and implicit costs as such economic profits, while accountants are interested in accounting profits only taking into account explicit costs or costs that require outlay of money or cash. So economic profit is basically a difference between total revenue and the opportunity costs. The total opportunity cost is the sum of explicit costs and implicit costs. The accounting profit is just the difference between total revenue and explicit costs. Let's assume that in a year the business made £2,000 revenue. These are all total sales. Let's assume that this business is a low practice, a small low practice, or solicitors. Now, we usually take away, as accountants, the explicit costs. These are out-of-pocket costs, wages, operating expenses, interest expenses. These three are some examples of uh, explicit costs. The list can be longer than this, but for simplicity, I take in only three explicit costs. Revenues minus explicit costs give us accounting profit of 150. Now, this is a profitable company. The company is making a 150 pound accounting profit. Now, let's assume that the manager of this company used to work as a lawyer for a large law practice. Let's assume that his salary was 100 pounds and he had some savings in a bank account earning a 10% every year. So that would be a 50 pound um, earning through investment. Together, these make up the annual earnings of that person. But because the person has now started a business, these earnings are now opportunity costs or implicit costs of running his own law practice. These earnings have been forfeited because this person is now dedicating all his time to run his business. Now, if we take away the implicit cost from the accounting profit, which is 150 pounds, we have an economic profit of zero. Economic profit of zero doesn't mean no profit. It simply means that the accounting profit is covering their opportunity costs or implicit costs or the foregone earnings. Yeah, It's just covering their foregone earnings. It's just enough to stay in business. So when the economic profit is zero, the person running this business, this lawyer, is indifferent between working for the larger organization, as he used to, or running his own practice, as he currently doing. It's a normal profit situation. In economic literature, this is also called zero economic profit. Economic profit. So the firm is making zero economic profit. And that doesn't mean the firm is not making money at all. It just simply means that whatever money they make, yeah, whatever the accounting profit they make is going to cover what they have given up. That's £150 a year. So it's just enough. Yeah, So they're just enough to cover that foregone earnings. The second case demonstrates the economic profit for the firm. So let's assume that the firm is 
currently making 2,100 pounds revenue a year and this is their explicit costs as before and total accounting costs or the out-of-pocket costs are 1,850 pounds. The difference between revenue and total explicit costs is 250. Yeah, that's a better profit than before. As we assumed before, the persons uh, for faded earnings are wage income of 100 pounds from previous job and the investment earnings return on investment of 50 pounds per year. We assume that this 500 pound was originally invested in bank account, deposit account, earning a 10% uh, revenue each year. But after the firm was established, this was invested in the firm. If the money was not invested in the firm, the lawyer would have earned 50 pounds a year. So that 50 pound is part of the foregone earnings or implicit costs. Now we take away total 150 pound implicit cost from the accounting profit and that gives us an economic profit of 100 pounds the company from an economist's point of view is a profitable company it's earning above average profit or above normal profit or economic profit simply what this means is that the the amount of accounting profit they earn is covering what they have given up this person has given up 150 pounds in their previous job they earned 100 pound and plus their own personal savings were, give, were yielding a 50 pound a year so they've given up 150 pounds so the accounting profit covers that plus there is an excess amount that is called economic profit let's assume that bills makes 1950 pounds revenue we'll take away the uh, explicit costs that gives us hundred pound accounting profit for the year now as before we now take away the 150 pounds which then leaves us with 50 pound economic loss so this is now negative economic profit which is an economic loss it looks like the business is making a positive accounting profit so the business owner can stay in the business based on that analysis yeah based on an accountant's perspective but that amount is less than what they earned before they earned before 150 pounds which is now foregone earning economic loss doesn't necessarily really mean a no profit it just simply means that whatever the profit excess profit based on the accountant's calculation is not sufficient to cover what has been given up to earn that profit so to earn 100 pounds a year this person has given up 150 pound earnings this is an economic loss case so business is not profitable from economists point of view but is profitable from accountants point of view